Hey guys, next is leg locks. So when you're in knee ride or knee on belly, there's actually three different ways of going to the legs. Most people don't go to the legs at all from knee ride or knee on belly. It depends. There's three different ways. Two I set up from knee on belly and one I set up from knee on chest that I made up today. So we'll go with the first one on, on knee on belly. And he maybe defend, defend. I can't get anything. He doesn't leave his arms open for arm bars here. I can't get anything. I'm trying to get his neck, but his hands are peeling off and defending. So I'm having trouble. Then I want to make him focus upside. I, whenever I do leg locks, I make the guy pressure or something. I make him think I'm going here, and then I come here to the legs. So it's a forward pivot to my Russian cowboy two-on-two -two knee bar position. So I just spin. I put pressure on his head and I come down to the legs. So I put pressure on his head or his arm or make him think I'm trying to get something and I'm simply going to go here, sit, I sit down, I pinch my knees together, I double collect and I fall towards his shoulder. So we fall towards the shoulder, boom. Now both heels on the butt where I can cross my ankles, pinch my knees. From there I can do a lot of submissions. So I'll grab, right here I have a knee bar and a heel hook because look at my head on his toes. I got heel hook and knee bar right there. Then I got double knee bar. Then I got single knee bar, which leads me into toe hold with single knee bar. And then I got double knee bar again. Okay, so that's one way to a two on two Russian cowboy position. Knee on belly, simple forward spin. Simple. Next. I'm on knee on chest and I'm floating my foot like off the ground and I'm attacking his head and stuff and I'm here and I'm trying to get him, ah, come on man, and here and I just back to the collect, sit on his legs, fall towards the shoulder, same submission series, double feet and butt, cross the ankles, pinch the knees, or these feet together, here, this one keeps landing by my head, which allows me to do a hizajuji combination heel hold, the heel hold, so there, double, Power, to hold, knee bar, his a juji, to hold, double his a juji, double knee bar, okay? So, uh, one more time against Mr. Punisher. That was back pivot, very tricky. I made this up today because I usually don't ride knee on belly, I ride knee on chest the right way, knee on solar plex, sternum. So I'm grinding this guy and I hear Sanju Bio and the round's ending or Sogo Kakutogi, I can't get him. I'm gonna put my way here, back pivot and collect. Now I'm sitting on him. Pinch, collect, fall. Towards his shoulder. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. Six, come back. Okay, and the third way of going to quadrant three, I'm calling the legs, because I like to attack one, two, if three opens up, I'll take it, or if four opens up, near arm, I take it, but that always, doesn't always open up, or it's a transition position. So I go here and here, because it's first, but if here and here he defends, I'm going to spin or backspin to the legs. So that was a cool back pivot from the on chest. Um, another way is like you do in leg drags, half guards to inside heel hook attacks nowadays. Uh, basically adapted to knee on belly. So I'm here and I'm just going to back pivot and knee collect here. Sorry. <laughs> Which gives me this leg. And I'm falling, boom, to knee bar. If he happened to defend as I'm falling, defend. I'm here. I got this wrist inserted. I can go right away to leg scissors, catch wrestling style, pro wrestling catch wrestling style. Leg scissors. If not, if I'm not good with that, I can switch, collect, pull, ankle lock, pull, elbow down, thumb up, stretch out. And here, and he doesn't tap because he's a tough fighter in a real fight, I grab this. And I pull that and break his knee against his one leg. 
Okay, one more time on that. So that is a back pivot to like an S mount on the legs or a Z mount. I pinched the knees together, which is when he kind of got hurt. So I'm here. Yeah, maybe I'm here and he's kind of hipping out. So let's say he's kind of hipping out. I can go, whoop. Actually, I collect one that time, but I'll still make something work out of this. And I'll fall this way. There's my knee bar. So even on a fail, it wasn't a fail. Let's say I was going to go forward or back, but he's shooting here. I can grab in a throat, post for a second. There's a camera. Post on a second. Back pivot, collect. And then I'm going to go here. Now I'm in leg lock position. If he defend, right? I'm sitting here. Collect, collect. We're defending. Leg scissors. Leg scissors. If that doesn't work, switch. And I collect. Oh. Ah. Ah. Tap out! Tap out! Tap out! Sakuraba style. So, uh, guys, those are three different attacks to the legs. Simple forward pivot, double knee, two on two, Russian cowboy. Knee ride, back pivot, collect both. Or back, S, collect. Until that series of three. Knee bar, a series of four. Knee bar, leg scissors, uh, ankle lock, cross ankle lock, kind of, strange ankle lock. And he defends, you can break his knee on his own leg, knee bar. So that's attacking the legs. So, so far we've done attack forearm, attack head. He's defending very tight. Boom, you surprise this guy, you get on the legs. Three different setups. And next, we'll learn how to go the knee arm, transition to top mounted crucifix and back mounted crucifix. Thank you very much.